Hey guys, welcome back to another Witness Minecraft episode, episode number 20. Um, so in this episode, I'm actually working, I, I guess I already started working on the mountain area over here. Um, so this is what I already have. Uh, let me show you guys around. So I've created the mountainous area uh, here. So the, the pathway that leads out of the entry area sort of have like a small like a hill over here overlooking the, um, the bay area. You can should be able to see the pier from here, and um, yeah, I need to clear out all this land in order to um, bring in the pier. Anyways, um, so I made the mountain area. So everything I made from right now here is pretty much what I could eyeball from the game. So what I've done is I just walked around, see if a uh, like for instance I went went out on top, on top of the mountain over here, and sort of got a relative distance from my um, from the looks pretty much and try to mimic what the uh, the terrain looks like and uh, so for instance I went over here and see which part of the castle I can actually make uh, make out from here and that's how I sort of got the scaling from um so this scaling over here so this is the first bunker if you can't say that <laughs> uh, so this is essentially where the big door is and you can see like a like opening over there um let me get to the top anyway so this is the uh, the top of the mountain and uh, there's like a small staircase where you can get on top of the um get on top of the island um the actual entry area itself and there's a if you go in this direction there's small like a door um that um sort of opens up the the outlook area anyways um so figuring out the right scaling for this project is going to be a super hard thing to do right um, because you don't want to build something and then move out and um, move them around that's going to take a lot of time i remember the, the big mistake i've done with this ca entry cast, uh, castle entry area because i initially when i made this castle i pretty much made it on at the sea level meaning that there was no like show that i can build, make out of what this uh, what i made um because of that reason i don't want to make any more mistakes going forward um I don't want to make, I guess making mistakes is inevitable, but I don't want to make uh, big mistakes that could take time away from the build, right? So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, in order to um, do that, um, I think what I'll have to make use of is some sort of a schematica that would let me help align where most of the major structures are going to be. Yeah, so I want to give a big shout out to KF. Um, this is him. Say hi to KF. He gave me, he's a, he's a genius in extracting game arts, or game assets essentially. So what Kev did was he extracted the actual witness island from the game itself and converted that into Minecraft. And that's amazing. That's exactly what I want. Um, let me actually sleep. Do, 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 do. sleep. So I don't know how he did it. It's magic. Um, all credits to him. And he provided me with the schematica and i've loaded that with the light matica and this is how it looks like um let me get a good advantage but i think over there should be fine all right so, man it took forever to get up here um so i'm gonna load uh, light matica um so light matica for those of you guys you don't know what the mod is about it's a client-sided mod that lets you load schematics onto the world and um, this is a good tool for those who wants to build and, and, and it's also not very really cheaty that it's not going to give you blocks or anything. It's just going to load projections of the schematics onto the world. And that way you can sort of align your builds with this uh, projection and make big builds. It lets you coordinate big builds like this island, for instance. All right, so once we are here, um, so I'm, I'm new to this mod. I don't know how this mod works, but I know how to work, make it work enough, I guess. So if I enable uh, rendering, it's going to align show the schematic itself. Right, so what you're looking at is a bunch of st stone spaghetti. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly the wording of um, KF. The, the stone spaghetti is going to show me is the sort of the outline of the island. So uh, right now I've tried to align the, I'm uh, using the, the four corners of the entry area as the baseline to align the rest of the island. So essentially um, the, uh, the four corners um, essentially is the, the grid line, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, Okay, let me fly up and I guess I can show you guys a good view. Of, uh, so essentially, um, all these stone spaghetti you're seeing, um, they're all temporary. Don't worry, that's not 
and uh, it's not removing any or adding any blocks into the build. Um, so what you're seeing right now is essentially the outline of the island, right? Or the pyramid of the island, I should say. Um, if I jump, go over to the entry area once again, you can see here that uh, what you're looking at here is the sort of the mountainous area. Uh, you can see the, the pathway that leads out of the entry area goes over to here, which you should be able to see the pier. This is whole area is the pier. And um, what essentially in this area is the uh, the orchard and uh, the town area is over there where the map is. Um, yeah, so the slide medical, uh, uh, even though it's not 100% accurate in terms of I mean, it's 100% accurate. It's just that my Minecraft build isn't, isn't exactly representing what the Minecraft, uh, the witness island is going to be. Um, what I'm going to be using this um, layout for is just to get an understanding of where some, where the exact elements are. For instance, you can if you go into this region. You should be able to see the big mountain. Look at that. So all this is the mountain, and this mod, uh, this schematic along with the mod itself, it's going to help me um, sort of um, plan my build around. And um, yeah, anyways, um, so working on the pathway that leads into this overhang area that overlooks the um, overlooks the actual port or the bay. Um, and I've worked on this stone formation here. Um, what do you guys think? So I'm trying to match uh, where some trees are in the game and some where the actual stones are in the game. So I think um, I'm happy with this formation. Uh, yeah. That's about that. Um, I'm using the default enhanced default shader, so it, there's some shadows and stuff like that. Anyways, um, so I've worked on this tree, and I'm gonna work on um, the rest of the episode. I'm gonna work on the vegetation. Um, from the earlier time lapses, you guys might have already seen all this, but um, I'm gonna be re um, recording sort of quick update videos in between those sessions. If we uh, go over here, you should be able to see like doorway that sort of leads into the surrounding area. I've completed the surrounding pathway as well. I just need some extra blocks here to fill this in. And um, so I'm, I'm sort of, in, in the actual game, this pathway is super narrow. So it's about two blocks wide. But I added extra um, extra couple of blocks of uh, depth here just to add more details when, we, when it comes to the, the stone formation that goes around the island perimeter. And um, if you look at how uh, Madness worked on this, this is, this looks pretty beautiful. Look at this. So this is all Madness, um, what he've done. He pretty much made this pathway already. And um, he only used one block of uh, wide pathway there. So I might stick into that pattern. No, I'm not entirely sure, I haven't decided yet. But I think um, I like this more than this narrow width because with this uh, three block wide pathways you can you, there's so much space to add more details like these trees this like this yucca over here whereas with uh, with just one block wide pathway it's going to be hard to add more details so i'm going to stick into three um for now uh yeah so what do you guys think about this area so so this is more of like a rocky area so if you look at the game itself uh, the region that sort of extends around the castle here uh, you can see like a lot of stone formations and uh, not not that a lot of stone formations just just a few stone blocks here and there and um so i'm sort of uh, taking design inspirations from the build style by um good times with scar and he's the one who usually he pretty much pretty much told me everything that has to do with landscaping in minecraft and i'm trying to uh, uh you know add up some of the lessons i've learned from him um I like this uh, oak leaves texture. Oh, by the way, I'm not sure if I told you this guys this one before, but I'm using a vanilla tweaks texture resource pack. So a vanilla tweaks essentially is um, a resource pack that's used by, um, you can find it from there, vanilla tweaks.net. It's the same texture packs that's used by the Hermitcraft guys. So I really like it, um, especially the ones that adds a lot of um, like the leaves textures, so like the bushy leaf textures that fits in a lot well compared to the vanilla um, leaf texture, which is much more blocky. Um, as usual, it's nighttime and I start recording, but I uh, just wanted to show you guys uh, what I've made so far. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, I need some light. Yeah, so what do you guys think about this uh, reading it over here? Um, right, that's it. I think I'm happy with these few trees here. I'm going to be um, using the same sort of pattern to cover out all, all, all the way up to here so in the actual game there's not much trees here it's more sort of uh, there's a few trees over here and there's two huge trees one over here and one over there so that's going to be challenging to make um 
But um, yeah, I'm slowly making my way through. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Oh, there it is. Okay, got it. I found it. Hey, look at that. Looks spooky. I'm still really barren. Say hi to YouTube. Hey YouTube, how's it going? What you what you got here? Do you wanna give us a brief uh, tour of your base? There's not really much to it. I mean, this is the farm. It grows all the different different types of crops. Just just a regular cobble generator. Basically, expressly built this for making the Nether Highway. Nice. So, yeah. where are we? What what's this thing we are looking at? Uh, this is my base, but uh, it also it's also a build. Yeah. So this is um, this is one of the trees from the witness. Yeah, the one near the quarry. Yeah, the one next to the quarry. Um, so depending on where you're looking from, it's gonna be faces. Yeah, there's a bit. There's like five of them. Yeah, and they're so all this... uh, marked out by these pedestals around here. Yeah, so I'm just gonna climb one to one of them. There's this one, which is the one I started out with initially. Yeah, after look at blocking that. in the model. So I see the face. That looks pretty good. So, okay, how long did this take to actually do oh, in survival? Gosh, I don't know. I think about a month. It's looking pretty good. Not, it's not non-stop play, but... Uh, yeah, look at that face. definitely took a long time. This one was the one that got uh, messed up the most. <laughs> so, Mostly due to the limitations of Minecraft blocks yeah, and the resolution. Yeah. So every time you, you add a new piece of detail, you have to like go to each tower and see if it doesn't, didn't screw up any other perspectives, right? Actually, I just kind of eyeballed it and then put the pillars in as an afterthought. That's not an actual pillar for it. Is That's it? just a... <laughs> okay. It's just a... It's just something to get out the stockpile of sand and sandstone that I saved up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this was a desert. huge um, dessert, right? You had to... Clean it up before. Clear it up. This is definitely an undertaking and a half. Yeah. This is pretty good, Kev. Uh, I think I've mentioned this before, but I I love this. <laughs> this is the last perspective down here. Hey, it's, my, it's my pride and joy. Okay. I had to jump through a lot of hoops to get it even working. Nice. Ripped the model from the game. Actually, two. The first one was of the tree itself, and then the the stones that it was sitting on. Yeah, it's they're all based on the exact models from the game. How did you convert these into Minecraft there? Is that in a different script you had to run? Oh, there's a bunch of different programs involved. Blender, Binvox, uh, MC Edit, I think. Man, that must have been a lot of work. Definitely was. It's a good thing I made a mock-up of this in in creative mode before going at it. Yeah. In survival. Well, looking good, Kev. Thank you. Alright, I'll see you later, Kev. I'm gonna go off All and right. do some bunch of work. See ya! Alright. So as you guys can see on the bottom right, um, that's the game loaded up on my iPad. So it's not a preview, it's an actual game window. Um, I don't want to run it on my computer because it's going to slow the heck down. So that's why I'm loading it on my iPad. And um, someone made this tree. <laughs> I didn't make this tree here. 
uh, whoever did uh, they did a nice job i think this is uh, pretty much right to the right scale the only problem is if you were to look it from this side um the tree itself doesn't uh, there's like a depth here so the tree itself sort of goes behind this wall but i guess there's nothing much we can do with this spacing also you left your shelter box here and that's not my shirt box anyways um i want to show you guys something uh the reason why i have this preview window of the the first bunker here is because i've uh, i've made it check this out i'll get to that later um what do you guys think i'm gonna go in f1 mode i'll include a time lapse of this um bunker in the intro so you, you know guys know how it looks like with all the shaders on but this is how it looks like i tried to re um use this minecraft scale so if you look at the um at the top there uh there's like a stairs pattern um we can only do so much with the uh in this scale uh, meaning that if in, in a one-to-one -one scale i can't put in more stairs up there so what do you guys think of this uh um, this build um i can't put much details up there because of the scaling but everything else is uh, to the point you can see on the bottom i tried to replicate some of the stones uh, in the places where they are in the game and also all the uh, minor minor details with uh, yeah um i'm still not sure about the texture for the stand here so if you look at the in the game itself it's uh, more of a more of a black yeah it should be black um, terracotta Probably, yeah, I think that'll work better. Uh, I didn't have black terracotta with me, so that's why I put that in. So that's more of a placeholder. So um, also, this there's a box on top, which I'm going to make on the mod itself. So that's why I didn't bother with this just for now. And uh, yeah, and also, that thing. If you remember that, uh, that's part of an environmental puzzle. Sorry, not an environmental puzzle. It's one of the... So this is a part of... Uh, I'm not sure what do you call it. It's uh, like a... A neat easter egg i guess um yeah also that the that branch it push is not centered that's because let, let me go up there it's not centered because you can't really center it on in minecraft you, you can only do like two blocks here so in in real like in in the right scale this would only be two blocks and it wouldn't be three blocks so i can't really center it in the third block in the center block so but I think that works still. Uh, it's not the same, but um, the people that look at the idea. It's uh, that's meant to be the same. And uh, yeah, so that's what I want to showcase. Um, so I'll bring in my iPad view uh, every time I want to showcase something uh, in the game one to one. Um, and this is how it looks like in in Witness. I'll try to represent all the blocks where they are. That's how that tree looks like. Um, so I'm going to be working on a bunch of other trees now. But uh, this is the path. That's how it looks like when the path that leads to the top. If I can get out of the bush. You go around and you see like the big tree that I work on there still. But this is how the pathway that looks from here. So I made this perfect tree right? Look at this tree. Um, I was trying to um, represent the same scale um, as this tree up here. So this is the tree I'm trying to uh, replicate. You can see there's like a like a bit of uh, the tree sort of uh, hanging off to the left of the tree. And uh, I think I, I was happy with this tree. <laughs> but then I realized when I was putting leaves down here, I was like, oh, hold on. <laughs> That's going to be in the view. And uh, sure enough, oh, there's a scale there. And sure enough, uh, it's kind of blocking the sky view. God damn it, I made all this tree and I've wasted so much time. Uh, let's actually go into there in the game. So the scaling here is that you can see that that dead brush down there, that's where the, um, the visual easter egg is. And the tree, the big tree that itself is sort of off to the right. So I'm actually built this tree in the wrong place. It should be down here, I think. Like right over there instead of, it should be like five blocks to the right. And um, yeah, and uh, yeah, I need to rebuild this tree. God damn it! No, I wasted so much time working on this tree. But if I go inside, you can see. Uh, let me get rid of this scary body. You can see that the tree of surely covers of the sky view. That's bad. Whereas in the game, 
it does not. I mean, it kind of does cover it. It doesn't cover it all together. It's like you can still see the skyline from there. And um, this is bad. So it should be moved to like five blocks to the right. So I'll get that done. Oh, well, I guess I wasted some time there. All right. So I've, as you guys can see, I've made a bunch of, I made a lot of progress. So let me go to a fun mood. Um, so put in all the vegetation and the some of the decoration blocks that sort of leads into the the pathway that goes around the keep of the entry area and uh, this is what you're seeing and as you can see on the bottom right um, that's that's what I'm rebuilding based off from and um, so I added some details over here so this is that bit over here yeah what do you guys think about this level of detail and there's a few bushes uh, leading into this pathway uh, I think the scaling here doesn't really make sense, but uh, anyways, that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, let's let's go down here. Uh, why does it, why does the sun always go down when I start recording? Okay, so the sun is back up. Um, let me grab my bed. Yeah, so I'll put on the shader again just for the showcase. But um, yeah, this is how it looks like on this area over here. That's sort of the pathway that leads into the uh, the secret area. And uh, that's how the tree look, looks like. Uh, let me back off. So this tree here, that's that tree. There's small sort of bushes. And this is the big tree. Yeah, what do you guys think about the uh, the big tree? Uh, the tree itself is much more bigger in in um, in the in the game. I didn't want to make it too big. Otherwise, it's going to draw, draw the whole area. So I want to still keep it relatively Minecraft safe size, if that makes sense. But uh, yeah. Uh, that's how that tree looks like, um, that tree over there. So that's what I've been working on. I've also worked on this uh, stone arrangement, um, sort of the stone formations you can find down here. Um, like these stone formations here, it's supposed to be represented like this. And um, so eventually I will also work on the sort of the shoreline, but uh, this is what it is so for now. You can see that the tree, I've moved the, the dead bush um, to the left, to the right. Um, so eventually I would actually add a model there, but for now the dead, would, would, dead bush would be the placeholder, I guess. And uh, while we're here, let me get to the uh, like right hand one page point. If you look at up here, uh, you can barely see some bits of the tree. Um, and that's what I tried to, like from here you should be able to see some bits of the tree. And that's why I can see the tree there. And eventually once I made the tree, uh, the the model for the dead bush. I can actually add the cloud. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do that. Um, details. And uh, I'm not sure who put this message in here, um, but thanks. I added that details in now. Um, so thanks for that. I, I might actually move this. Okay, cool. And uh, that's it. Um, let me cut to the next clip. Anyway, so um, I want to show you guys something. Look at this. What do you guys think? Did I, did I do it? Did I do it correctly? Um, the scaling here isn't that big in, uh, far enough, I guess, but that's fine. And this is how the, uh, the sort of the ridge um, opens up to the ocean. And eventually I would have to um, take out the, all those kelp plants down there, but uh, it's not a big priority right now. Let me go there in the game. Now uh, this is how it looks like in the, uh, in the Minecraft and also the Nest. So that's those two stone ridges. Yeah, what do you guys think? And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, so this uh, all, all this place piece over here, this place over here is pretty much open. There's no other trees here. Oh, creepers! Oof. Oh man, that that raised my blood pressure. Um, yeah, so there's no other big trees nearby, and uh, I think this uh, this whole area is pretty much open. All right. I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode, guys. Um, I've made a lot of progress creating this mountain down here. And uh, yeah, that, that took a lot of time. And I think I've completed the uh, the mountain area. And now next I'm going to work on the, the entry puzzle area, I think down here. I keep on calling them the orchard puzzles, so I'm just going to call them orchard puzzles. So I'm going to work on the orchard puzzles next. And uh, yeah, what do you guys think about these uh, builds so far? Uh, let me know in the comments and uh, subscribe if you want to keep watching and seeing these new updates as they come out. 
and um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Witness Minecraft. Bye.